All right. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining the Howard County Chamber of Commerce today. We are meeting today with um, Chamber Discoveries and also with Accident Fund Insurance. And uh, first of all, I would like to take a moment and thank our sponsors for their support today and for their support this entire year. We would be we would have been unable to get through this year without them. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of give you a little screenshot of all of our supporters this year. All right. So as I mentioned, these are our amazing sponsors and they have been um, wonderful this year in their support. And if you have a chance to to patronize our businesses, please do. And if you have any questions, please follow up with us after the event. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first of all, I would like to introduce our participants today. With us, we have Ron Spiker with Accident Fund Insurance and he is here now. Ron, would you mind just saying hello and tell us a little bit, a bit about yourself? Hey, absolutely, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, Ron Spiker, Accident Fund. Um, I'm the group uh, and association specialist with the company. I've uh, been there three years. I've been in total in the insurance world for now 30 years. Uh, so it's been, been, been a minute or two. Um, <laughs> and if, just a little bit, we're gonna go kind of at a high level, kind of explain what Accident Fund's all about but really kind of do a deeper dive on kind of what we have uh, offerings uh, for you as, as memberships uh, with the Howard Chamber. And uh, we're pretty excited to roll this out to you. All right, all right, thank you so much. Um, and if anybody has any questions for our, um, for our members today, please just go ahead and put them in the chat and we will uh, ask those at the end of the program. And secondly, I'd like to um, introduce Chris Bra. He's with Chamber Discoveries. Chris, would you mind just tell, telling us a little bit about yourself and about Chamber Discoveries? Yeah, sure. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Chris. Uh, I've been with the company now, gosh, about 14 years. Um, we've been around uh, um, a little over 30. Um, and and we are uh, kind of specialized in in group travel for, for chambers of commerce. And, and, and we're here to kind of talk about some of the different safety things that not only we're, we're rolling out, um, but also uh, some of our suppliers, like of course the airlines and things like that. So we'll, we'll get a little deeper into that in just a little bit. But thank you for thank you for having me. Sure. All right, that sounds good. Well, Ron, I'm going to go ahead and bring up um, our uh, our shot of everyone that we actually that our members can contact for the accident fund insurance program. I'm going to bring that up, and then we'll get started with your presentation. All right, perfect. Just, uh, is it, uh, is it up yet? Um, give me one second. Yeah. Okay. And we are all set. Perfect. Well, um, first of all, I want to kind of do it like just uh, again, kind of a, a high level, uh, kind of explain uh, accident fund. Uh, we are a workers' compensation company. Uh, we were founded in 1912. So, so we have some longevity to go along with this. Uh, we are a A rated and best. Um, and we also are the top 10 work comp carrier in the U.S. And really how this works is that we work with independent agencies in your area. And you'll see on the, the flyer, we work with the McFarland uh, Insurance, Sandy Springs, and B.W. Brown. So again, we work with independent partner agencies within your area. Uh, now, it, back in 1995, Accident Fund started this uh, group dividend program. Um, really was, wasn't sure where this was going to take us. You fast forward today, uh, we work with 135 chambers and 10, tra 10 trade specific groups. Um, and year to date, end of last year, we were over 100 million within this group. Um, now last year too, is the average dividend payout was, was just over 5%. And in total since 1995, we've paid over $65 million back to our policyholders. So again, this is a program that our, the retention continues year over year to be in, excuse me, in the low 90s. Um, so it is a, a program, once the insureds do get into this, they do see it beneficial. Um, so really, how does the group dividend plan work? You know, first action of thought is a member. So we are a paid member of the Howard Chamber. We pay like everybody else. We also look at doing special events, um, kind of help promote not only action of fund, but also our local agencies uh, within, within the area. Now, the gist of it is if, if you write your workers' compensation with one of the three agencies on that flyer and you write it with Accident Fund, you will receive a 5% discount because you are a Howard Chamber member. 
Now we do a, a year over year, every year, uh, we do a year over to make sure that we verify that everybody is still members. Um, so if by chance, if somebody does uh, uh, unfortunately leave, they will get that 5% off. So really what we do is we kind of look at saying, hey, listen, this, this could be a true benefit for you. Um, then at the end of the each year, you have an opportunity to receive up to a 5% dividend check back. And this is all based on what your overall premium uh, uh, is. Now, and again, like I said, so 90% of our insureds that are in this program, they absolutely love it. And the one thing is because when does, when does as an insured, all of us, when do we usually get a check back from our insurance carriers? We have some sort of loss, right? For this one, it's based on how you perform year over year. So again, it's based on what your overall premium, and again, depends on your loss ratio. Again, you can get up to a 5% uh, discount back. Mm -hmm. So really, all, all in all, that's really what the whole program is about. Uh, I do ask, my big ask for everybody uh, out there is that what does it hurt as your work comp policy is coming up, contact one of the three agencies on this list and just to see what uh, could be offered. Again, this is a, a benefit just for Howard Chamber members. Okay. So with, so with that, Alex, that's pretty much what the, the group dividend program is, is about. And was there any questions or? Um, not yet. We have a, I think we'll do a questions uh, towards the end. And if we have any um, qu uh, questions, please put them in the chat. But I'm really, that's a really great benefit um, program that we're able to help um, our members with. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, so I'm happy to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I'm um, going to move along and see if Chris would actually mind sharing us some, uh, some information with us about the Chamber Discoveries program. Yeah, um, absolutely. So uh, again, th thank you for having us, um, or for, for me, I should say. <laughs> uh, um, what, you know, what we are is um, we're, we're part of a, a much larger um, company uh, called, called BCD. Um, it's, it's the third largest travel company actually in the world, a little over $26 billion um, last year. Now this year is a little different. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, the, the, the point being is that we've been around a long time and we, are, uh, we have the backing from a, a much larger company, which really translates into excellent, uh, not only savings for, for the prices and this, things like that for the group, but also uh, things that we're able to do in terms of safety. And, and, and so what, we, uh, what I wanna share really quick here is just a quick, um, a quick video. It, it's actually of United. Um, they're, they're United and uh, American and Delta are three of our major partners, okay. um, again, last year's it's a little different you know but pre-covid with our partners in our edelman uh travel group program we 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 averaged right around 500 million dollars in, in in overall air sales so again that volume translates into value for you know for for the customer uh here i'm gonna play this quick video here of of united and then i'll come back on all right So, so that, that, that's just one quick video, but really, you know, the, the question really, I think is, is in a lot of people's minds is what's it going to be like when I finally do travel. 
And right. is it going to be safe? And and what's that experience going to be like when I'm over there? Yeah. And, and you know, th this is kind of addressed while we probably think, gosh, sitting in an airplane, you're so close to people. It's, you know, there's th that could be a potential for disaster. In reality, when you actually look at the numbers, it's actually quite safe um, okay. in, in, in the cabins of the airlines because of the air circulation and, and, and the filters and everything else. But uh, one thing I wanted to quickly, I'm going to share again to another quick screen here. And this is basically going to talk about our what we're doing. Um, can now, now, can you all see that the Edelman Insurance Program? Uh, we can't actually. No. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, usually you have to stop and then reshare. Re Oh, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. We've had a little bit of practice here <laughs> doing, <laughs> doing these. I wish. Um, okay. Are, are we, are we you are with good. me? Yep. Okay, great. So this document, <clears throat> I'll, I'll make this available for, um, so the chamber can share this as well. Okay. But this covers all of basically safety bullet points of what we're doing, but really just to focus on the first four, I, I think are, are is pretty uh, important. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we're going to allow for social distancing on the coach. Secondly, okay. when you're walking around, everyone's going to have a whisper system. I never liked everybody having to crowd around the guide anyway when we're walking around Athens or Santa right. Maria or wherever you are. This way, you're all going to have a, a little earpieces in your ears. The okay. guide will have a little microphone, and we can all spread out 40, 50, even you know, 60 feet even um, away, and still get all the information okay. that's out there. Uh, the face coverings are going to be provided along with hand sanitizers. Mm -hmm. um, but the fourth one, which I really liked, and before before and after every um, anybody gets on and off the coach the buses, it, they're, they're gonna be disinfected much like the airlines cabins are with um, electrostatic cleaners. And, and of course the old fashioned uh, uh, disinfectants as well. But um, just to let you know, this is, this is all things that are things that, that we've thought about and really wanna make the experience not only pleasant, but safe. And, and so this is um, again, just, just a quick, a quick overture of, of some of the things that we're doing. And then I, I lastly, uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll go back here and, and I just want to, want to talk about a, uh, it's, it's, it's basically going to be the, excuse me, it, it, it's our uh, cancel for any reason, travelers insurance. Okay. Yes. And folks can sign up for that. Um, and that'll be available for anybody that signs up that wants to, that wants to sign up for, for the trip, but gosh, who knows what's going to happen in eight months. Right. They, they can have right. that insurance to cancel. And if they have a bad hair day, I mean, literally, <laughs> so whatever they want to do, but that's available to them as well. No, that's um, fantastic. Yeah. Um, so I did have a quick question. Um, so our, are you working with different with the travel agencies at different companies to make sure that they're kind of adhering to the same guidelines that you that your company is? Right. So, well, well, okay. Excuse me. I, I, we're actually the tour operator. Okay. Um, so, so we, so the guides are are um, are booked directly with us. Oh, okay. Wonderful. We okay. Have all of the, the the coaches. Really, the the wild card, quite frankly, is. Um, is at the airports because okay. that's something okay. we can't control. Right. But m moving forward through wherever, for example, Greece, when, when we go through Athens, you know, the bus is going to be disinfected. Everybody's going to be social distanced with, with whisper systems. Um, okay. So, so we can all keep our distance, but still get to learn and, and see everything that, right. that Athens and Greece has to offer. So. No, that's fantastic. And, and um, just, just, and, and I'm sorry, last thing. And, and I'll, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're, we, we do, we're working with currently, I, if I'm going to be a little off, but right around 150 chambers currently okay. um, around the, uh, around the country offering these different type of programs. So, okay. th so you'd be traveling with other folks from other chambers okay. around the country. 
Oh, that's fantastic. That's wonderful. I'm glad to hear that that those accommodations have definitely been taken into consideration because I'm sure that once things start to open up a little bit again, that people will be itching to go everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, you're, you you can only hang out in your living room so long. Right. Exactly. Only, only so much Netflix. So, right, um, right. <laughs> um, so wonderful. Well, um, I'm going to see if there are any questions. Um, I actually had a couple of questions to follow up and um, any questions for our participants at the moment. I have um, just one. I, what's the earliest that a chamber is planning on a travel event right now that you all have, have booked? Just out of curiosity. Right now, uh, we're, we're focused on the really on the summer and the fall currently. Okay. Yeah, we, we actually have um, uh, um, a, a, a large university um, alumni program that's scheduled to go to Greece in, uh, in July, I believe, um, okay. into July. So they're looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm yeah, sure. I, I bet, yeah. And, um, and I believe that we are planning on doing the trip to Greece next year. Is that correct? Chris? Right. This is in yeah. The the trip that we're talking about for Greece is going to be in October of 2021. Okay. Wonderful. So, yeah. Well, plenty of time to get that vaccine. Get everybody feeling good, distributed yeah. correctly, and yeah. well on our way. That's I, the hope. I know. Every new new things are being created and innovated every single day. So. Yeah. I am going to do a quick screen share actually of our um, of our tra uh, where you can find more information on our travel program here really quick. And this is always the place that you're able to go to our website and you're always able to get more information about our travel programs. And I had one more question. Um, so this is the chamber website here and go here to about about the chamber chamber travel program. And I did have one other question, um, Chris, and I believe, you, do you have to be a member, a, a member of the Howard County Chamber to um, participate in the travel program? No, ma'am, you don't. Um, okay. You can be, uh, of course, chamber members, um, but, 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 but it's open to the community at large. Um, and I mean, quite honestly, we've had family members that live, you know, that, that live around Howard County or that, that live in Maryland and that you may have a family member that live out in Colorado and oh, wow. they're coming with them. And okay. so that, that's stuff that, that we arrange as well. All right. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. And, and I actually had one more question for Ron. Um, so Ron, this considering all of the issues that it, with um, COVID and all of the new legislation is, how has working workers, workers' compensation insurance changed considering the possibility of a COVID outbreak in a workplace? How has that, has that affected the insurance world in any way? Yeah, that, that's a great question. And, and still, it's just an ongoing question because there's still so much that we're, we're learning about this, uh, to be honest with you. And it's very state specific on what we're doing because uh, we can write in all 50 states, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it, the answer to the question, it's, it's ever evolving um and okay. but nobody and actually all the whole industry you know um is is still trying to figure this whole thing out but more to come i mean once we get kind of more data and what what the plan is on mm -hmm. how we're going to handle this it, it'll be rolled out okay okay i mean Good i that, that's been our um that's been my um impression is that it's never ever changing um, environments and uh, so everyone, every, every workplace is trying their best to make sure that they keep every all their employees safe. And I believe that one Absolutely. of our participants, yeah, one of our participants, Tom, is actually from Sandy Spring Insurance. So I'm glad. So he's okay. here to support with you. So I'm glad to see Tom here. Um, yeah, no, that's perfect. And one more thing I want to add to that sure. too is that because yeah. uh, you know with our loss control, we we are absolutely looking to, uh, looking out for our insureds. Um, so so we will meet with them. Uh, obviously everything's pretty much zoom right now, kind of go over what, what are they doing on a day-to-day -day basis too. So we are trying to be very proactive when it comes to that. So that is one of our, our, our selling points to our insurance. That's fantastic. All right. I believe that kind of wraps us up for um, our session today. And with that, I will just thank you, Chris, and thank you, Ron, so much. And um, we will be posting this in the next few days on our YouTube um, channel. And so please take a look there for um, any further information. 
And uh, thank you everyone for participating and have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. So much. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.